Thank and with me now, Republican Congressman Lee Zeldin, who was a member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Uh, good evening, Congressman. You, along with Senator Ted Cruz, sent a letter to Secretary of State Kerry asking about this nonprofit group that sent $350,000 taxpayers' money to back Netanyahu's uh, rival. Did this violate their tax-exempt status, and what can you tell us? Well, the, the answer that we got back from Secretary Kerry was a partial response to some of our questions. One of the questions he didn't answer uh, was with regards to the IRS tax-exempt status. Uh, so Secretary Kerry suggested Senator Cruz and I reach out to the IRS commissioner, so we did. And we're waiting for a response. This is a U.S. 501c3 tax-exempt charitable organization that worked with Obama's team, a dozen and a half Obama staffers, to try to oust Bibi. When you say a dozen and a half Obama staffers, you're saying, it, where were they trying to oust Bibi? So they How? were working in Israel. So there was uh, 270. His staffers were working in Israel? Well, these were campaign staffers uh, led by Jeremy Byrd, who was the president's national field director. Uh, 270 Strategies entered into a partnership with One Voice and V15 or Victory 15. Mm -hmm. uh, they were running an, an Acorn Obama uh, Organizing for America type campaign over there with the digital ads, the billboards, the phones. Uh, they were targeting uh, Israeli Why do voters. you think that our president hates this man so much? Well, he he lost. The, I mean, I think the president Tuesday night felt like he lost. I, you know, I don't I don't know. Maybe it's because he found someone who is filling that vacuum in the Middle East. Created this, our president. You know, right now, uh, Israel and our allies are in that foxhole, and they're looking around, and they can't find our president anywhere. The leader of the free world is busy negotiating a bad deal with Iran. Right, and what do you think of this this video that the president made for the people of Iran, saying, you know, he wants to give them jobs and. All that, what is that about? Well, I agree with you that his focus really should be on American interests, creating jobs here at home. He did the same exact thing with ISIS when he had his extremism summit just a few weeks ago at the White House. He was saying one of the three prongs of, of a tackling ISIS was to get them more jobs. Um, I, I think that the president needs a refresher as to who our friends are and who our enemies are. But, but, but you know what? Anybody can tell you who our friends and who our enemies are. And you can't get into the president's mind. But are they naive enough to believe that they can negotiate a deal for Iran and, and, and protect us, the American people? No, the, the president is not pursuing a good deal with Iran. He's pursuing a bad deal that is going to trigger a nuclear why? arms race. Tell me why. Well, this is March Madness, I guess, is what the president is pursuing over there. Uh, there really is no good explanation as to why he is doing it. Uh, there is, fortunately, only a year and a half left in his second term in office. Uh, the, the, the length of our relationships with our allies like Israel and others uh, will outlast this president's time in the White Let's House. Hope so. Hopefully it doesn't cause too much damage in the meantime. Can the president cut Congress out of the Iran nuke deal? Well, the president would like to cut Congress out of everything. I mean, you know, he looks at the Constitution. He sees himself as a monarch. He is the president and he is Congress. Uh, you know, if you talk to him and you question him on, on this policy. But can he keep you out of this? He cannot. How, what would you do to stay in it? How, what do you do? Whatever he is seeking to agree to with Iran must come to Congress for our approval. If he does not receive our approval, he cannot just get rid of sanctions that were passed by Congress in the first place. All right, Congressman Lee Zeldin, good to have you here good this evening. Here. Thank, Thank you. you.